Welcome to a tour of the redesigned pads install program. This is part two of a custom install and as you remember in part one we customized the licensing configuration and here in part two we're going to customize the list of products that we want to install the target installation location the pads projects directory and also the WDIR directory for DX Designer. Now in part one we left off with the license agreement so let's go ahead and click agree and shortly the confirm installation choices appears and the most important attributes on this screen is we have the target installation location by default this will always be C Mentor Graphics then we have the release in this case it's pads 9.3 and then we have the products to install and this list is based on either the prior install and the product selected there or the licensing that was detected during earlier checks and here we have the pads projects directory this will default to C pads projects and again we have the space required and the space available so let's go ahead and click modify because we're doing a custom install and this will take us to a tabbed screen where we can change the product selection or list of products the target installation path or the pads projects path and you'll notice we have tabs across the top here but we also have hyperlinks on this main screen now these will just take you to exactly the same place it's just a different way to get to these different areas so for example we can click on the link here to go to product selection and just say we'd like to install some additional products maybe hyperlinks we go down here and we'd like to grab the hyperlinks board sim line sim and extended ibis libraries for installation but maybe we're not using pads layout and router so we can unselect those and once we're done here we can click the done button but this will take us back to the confirm installation choices so if we want to make changes to the target path or to the pads projects path then we want to wait and click over to these tabs and make all the changes and then click done once we're completely done so let's go ahead and click target path and for example let's say we want to change the default installation target to C colon slash mentor maybe we like the shorter uh, directory name maybe that's the standard um, we can also click browse to browse to the location in my case I just uh, type that in and let's go over to pads projects path and what we're going to do is put in space new it's just for example and notice I have spaces in this path and that that's okay to have spaces there but back at the target path where I changed it from C Mentor Graphics to C Mentor we do recommend that there are no spaces in that particular location but again spaces is okay in the pads projects directory and let's go down to the next field and you'll notice we have use pads projects directory for WDIR now this is for DX Designer and the WDIR stands for DX Designer Working Directory and in most cases you you may want to have these be the same so if that's the case we can check this button and you'll notice the WDIR directory down here becomes the same C pads projects new but just say I want to keep this different and I want my WDIR to go over to a WDIR directory that I have predefined and so now I have my pads projects directory set to C pads projects new and I have my WDIR set to C colon slash WDIR so at this point I've made all the changes that I wanted to make and I can go ahead and click done to go back to the confirm installation choices and you'll notice that the changes are reflected in the respective fields C colon slash mentor that's my new installation target 
Again, we want to try and avoid spaces in this field where possible. And the C pads projects, that's C colon slash pads projects new. And again, this is okay to have spaces in, in this directory. And you'll notice the space required did change a little bit. I added some additional products and removed a couple of products. And you'll see I have my hyperlinks in here and I do not have the pads layout and router because I did remove those for install. And at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and click install to commence the installation process. So I'll go ahead and do so. And in a couple of moments here, we'll have the installation dialog pop up showing us the progress of the install. And it will go through some pre-installation scripts and then the main part of the install. And here's the main part, installation in progress. And you will notice that this changes a little bit during the installation. And at this point, instead of waiting for the install to complete, because it will take a little while, I'm going to jump ahead and show the installation complete. And we showed this in the typical install, but um, as you know, we have the registration via the internet or via email or at a later time. And we do have a link to the README as well here on the last screen. As you remember, this was also available on the welcome screen, which was one of the first dialogues. And at this point, we are done with our custom installation. I'd like to thank you for attending these movies.